Hi guys, welcome to Linksai YouTube channel. My name is Ram Mishra and I am your online instructor. So what's in this video? In this video I will tell you how to configure chroot SFTP server in RHEL 8. So guys, let's begin the topic. But before we start the lab session, we have to understand few points which is what is SFTP server and their use cases. So for the demonstration purpose, I have a lab scenario for you. Please look at that. Guys, this is my Linux SFTP server environment. So the first question coming in my mind is what is SFTP server? So SFTP stands for SSH file transfer protocol or secure file transfer protocol. SFTP provide file access, file transfer and file management functionality over any reliable data stream. When we configure SFTP in CHOOT environment, then only allowed user will be limited to their home directory or we can say allowed user will be in, uh, in a like environment where they can change even their home directory. So there are some scenario happen when the system admin wants only few users should be allowed to transfer files to Linux machine but not allowed to SSH. So we can achieve this by setting SFTP in chroot environment. Okay. So here I have test, uh, here I have two tested virtual machine for you. First machine acting as a SFTP server. This one uh, with the hostname server.example.com with associate IP address 192.168.0.1 and the running OS is RHEL 8.0. And the other hand we have one more client machine that is known as Linux client with the hostname station 1.example.com IP address 192.168.0.2 and the running release OS is RHEL 8.0. So uh, so uh, what I'm going to demonstrate to you here I will configure CH root CS SFTP environment on this machine on server side and we will create few user this user will be allowed to transfer the files on Linux server from the client side from here uh, through SS keys uh, using SFTP process but not allowed to SSH okay so this is today's our agenda so let's begin the lab session so I'm going to close this file and uh, here it is guys this is my linux terminal and currently i am on the server side so first of all i will show you the host name the ip address and the running release version of this machine so i have command host name ctl so guys you can see that my server name is server.example.com and currently i am using rel 8.0 okay and if i talk about the associate ip address we have command host name hyphen i you can see my ip is 192.168.1 so we have to follow few steps to configure this machine acting as a sftp server first step is to make normal user on the server side so i go with user at command for this so i go with user add and assign a username in my case i'm going with bob you can uh, do whatever you want okay user is successfully created now assign uh, the bob user password via passwd command so i assigning the password using passwd bob and assign the password in my case i'm saying one two one two okay small now uh, user is successfully created let's verify the user entry using the id command so i type id and the username bob so you can see user is successfully created with its uid and gid fields now move to the next step in this step i will create ssh keys from the client side and copy the ssh keys from the client to the server for this particular user so i move to the client side so here it is my client machine okay i log in with root first so first of all uh, i'll show you the host name and the release version host release version and the ip address so host name ctl you can see the machine name is station onexampl.com current running os is rel 8.0 and if i talk about the ip address host name hyphen i the ip is 192.168.2 okay so now for generate the ssh key i go with ssh keygen command and didn't assign any password for the key session i want to set it blank so i say ssh keygen and press enter okay it says generating public private rsa key pair the location is root.sshidrsa okay let it be go and enter for fast face i said no blank blank okay done it so now my keys has been successfully generated now i am going to copy this key public key from client to server so i run the command ssh copy id and user is bob for server one dot example dot com okay I press enter are you sure to continue i said yes and assign the password in my case that is one two press enter now let's see what happened okay it successfully copied now time to check whether ssh keys work or not so for this i sss to bob user from here so i say ssh bob at the rate server one i can give just only mention the server one also so are you sure i said yes okay i log in see if i run the hostname command 
I got a host name server1.example.com <clears throat> now uh, you can see I can log in uh, without any password authentication and uh, in a similar way let's verify my SFTP connection does it work without password prompt or not so I have the command uh, let me quit from there okay again I am on station 1 SFTP Bob at the rate say server one dot example dot com or even I you can also type server one so I press enter let's see what happened hello what happened Okay, connected to Bob at the rate server example dot com, and uh, now let's see the home directory first. Okay, it's slash home Bob. Now try to move to the other directory. Suppose I want to move to slash etc. Can I do that? Yes, I can, and even I can list the file also. Okay, so I'm quit from there. Say quit. Okay, back. So without any changes, my user Bob has full access and can SSH or SFTP and move to any directory. So now I'm going to create a CSUT environment and keep him in a jail environment and log down to a specified directory. So I'm going to back on my server to complete these tasks. Uh, here I am on my server machine. One more time. Okay. So now uh, I'm going to create a group first. So that I can add all my jail ch root user on the server side. So command is group add and the group name. So in my case, I'm using a group name Linux. It could be anything, choice up to you. Now create a common directory for all of my jailed ch root user. So in this case, I go with mkdir command and assign a directory slash make a directory slash sftp. Okay, now in the next step, I'm going to create a sub directory for this user that I want to ch root. So in my case, uh, this is slash Bob. Okay. Now I make a home directory for the user. So again, I say Bob home. And now finally, I'm going to modify the user account and add him into the group Linux. So this time I use user mod, user mod hyphen A capital G and the username a uh, group name is Linux and user is Bob B O B okay press enter so now this way uh, Bob get the member of Linux group even we can verify via groups command so groups Bob so guys you can see uh, now it is a member of Linux group also so now move to the next step which is change the permission for the user ch rooted home directory only it is important to leave the everything else without uh, with the default root permission so i say john change ownership bob and linux and the location is sftp bob and home so let's verify using ls command so i say ls hyphen ld and let's verify the entry okay you can see that the owner uh, it's a user owner is bob and group owner is set to the linux group now move to the final task which is modifying the sssd configuration file so i open my ssd configuration file and just add a few lines so i open my vi meter go with vi meter etc ssh ssd underscore configuration file here is the configuration file of my ss server and first of all i am going to set a line number for you so we can easily grab it okay so here it is there are lots of lines are mentioned in this configuration file uh, we have to move uh, line number 142 see look at that so i'm going to modify it subsystem sftp and uh, uh, what i'm going to do i'll just remove this line or you can just uh, take a backup of this configuration file also say subsystem sftp internal internal sftp p hyphen d and the user home directory name that is slash home okay now save it now go to the bottom of the file or add few lines so 
here I am I'm on the last last one and just add new line and mention few entries so the first one is match group and the group name is in my case Linux and then ch root directory directory in my case slash sftp percentage u that is user so now what i did uh, here in line number 142 what i mentioned i tell sssd to use internal sftp uh, for the sftp process instead of default sftp server with the home directory okay and uh, next line in a match group here uh, what i mentioned this indicate that uh, the following lines will be matched only for the user who belong to the group linux and the next line ch root directory here i mentioned uh, this line indicate you can say this is the path uh, will be used for ch root after the user is authenticated so here percentage you indicate the user uh, so in my case for bob this will be slash sftp slash bob Okay, so now just save and code from there and restart the services system C here restart SSST. Okay, uh, we have done everything time to check. So one more time I move to my client machine for the testing purpose and let's check SFTP uh, CH root SFTP environment works or not. So I move to the my client machine here it is. Uh, one more time. Okay, sorry. Now, so uh, first of all, I try via SSH. So SSH say Bob at the rate server one. Let's see what happened. Oops. Got it. Now you can see Bob can no longer connected via SSH connection closed. No such file or directory. Okay. Now run the same command with this time SFTP. SFTP and let's see what happened. SFTP Bob at the server connected great uh, so it's connected uh, let's see what uh, what we will get the home directory okay this is slash home and now I'm trying to move in slash etc directory let's see what happens slash uh, etc okay uh, no such file or directory earlier I can do that so this is a kind of jail environment for the particular Bob user okay so i'm going to quit from there and so now you can see the user can successfully connected via sftp and he's totally restricted to their home directory he cannot move to the other location or and he can get even he have he has the right or he can get uh, and put the file from there so for the testing purpose what i'm going to do i'll make a simple blank file on this client side and upload it via this user so what i'm going to do i'll make a file touch file one say ls command okay here it is and one more time i am uh, connected through sftp for bob user and try to upload this file okay and let's see ls so for upload the file i use put command put and the file one press enter okay upload it successfully i'll quit from there now uh, time to check uh, 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 where this file is uploaded so for check this one i go back one more time to my server machine so where is my server machine here it is okay and here if i run ls minus l in sftp bob home and press enter so you can you can see that i got my uploaded file so guys this is um, this is we have successfully configured a sftp server with jailed ch root environment with ssh keys and this is all about this video finally this is the end of this topic hopefully you enjoyed and learned new things soon i will come up with another new interesting topic till then cap keep practicing if you feel something i have missed or you wanted to know more something is please leave your comment and subscribe my youtube channel for more update if you like this video please do not forget to like share and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon button for the latest update thanks for watching stay safe and goodbye